Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to the channel and happy Friday to you all. Today I'm going to be breaking down the NHL DFS slate for May 12th and we got ourselves just another two game slate here tonight where I'm going to go through a couple of my favorite line stacks, some of my favorite individual plays, and some of my favorite value plays and then we'll wrap up today's video talking a little prize picks. With that being said, let's dive into my spreadsheet here. And we're going to kick things off here like we always do in the top left hand corner with those highest implied game totals. Got the Oilers at Golden Knights coming in at 7 goals, Panthers at Maple Leafs coming in at 6.5. And, and then take a look down here at the Vegas odds where you can see the Maple Leafs and Oilers are favored to win. And then here's a schedule update to wrap up this week. Last video here for this week, but I do want to mention that the Discord that I'm running is very active on the weekends. We got people in there talking NA. NHL, talking MLB, and posting their prize picks for multiple different sports. If you want to join my Discord channel, there's a link to do so in the description below on this video. With that being said, let's dive into a couple of line stacks that I like here for tonight. Starting with that first line for the Edmonton Oilers, we have McDavid centering Nugent Hopkins and Hyman. Now we all know that the Oilers can change their lines five on five in the snap of a finger, especially their top six. We see McDavid play with Drysaddle quite a bit five on five, but for for the most part, these three did play together in game four, five on five. And really, worst case scenario, all three of these guys play up on the number one power play. So you're still getting that correlation there. Hyman and Nugent Hopkins, very affordable here in the 5K range. Playing with the best player in the world, I also like that. But again, really targeting this number one power play, which was the best during the regular season, and it really wasn't even close. And they've scored at a ridiculous 44% on the power play so far in these playoffs. So again, hard to ignore that. Now, I also like running it back in that game with that first line for the Vegas Golden Knights. We got Eichel centering Barbashev and Marcia So Very affordable considering how well they've played together 5-on-5 five five throughout the playoffs. And yes, they only have 11 goals, 9 assists, 20 points in 9 playoff games, averaging just over 2 points per game as a line. That could certainly be better, but I do believe there's some positive regression coming their way. If we look at the lines here throughout the playoffs, you can see their line currently ranks 4th overall in expected goals per 60 minutes so again they have played very well together five on five now you're also going to see Eichel and Marcia so play up on the number one power play Barbashev plays down on the second but he's really easy to justify at that price a $3,200 now, folks, before we dive into some of my favorite individual plays here, if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate that. We're just 23 subs away from 3,000 on this channel. Really looking forward to hitting that mark there. Now, for those of you who have been on this channel for a while, you know I'm trying to build a brand here. And one of the new things we've added to the channel is more on the entertainment side of things, but still sports related. It's a series called Mulligan Master. So we got three videos out here. If you could go check these videos out, like them, leave a comment, and just watch through them, I would really appreciate that. The faster I can build this brand, the more people we can get on this channel, which means more content coming out for you guys. All right, now diving into some of my favorite individual plays here, you're going to notice I got three Florida Panthers here with Matthew Kachuk, Sam Bennett, and Sam Reinhardt. The top two that I like here are Sam Bennett and Matthew Kachuk. You get those two together on that second line and number one power play, but really don't mind targeting the number one power play overall for the Florida Panthers, which has scored at a 28.5% rate here so far in this series versus the Toronto Maple Leafs. And if we look at the expected goals here for the Florida Panthers, the top three, Sam Reinhardt, Sam Bennett, and Matthew Kachuk, considering their prices here tonight, again, those are my top three for the Panthers. Now, when it comes to the Toronto Maple Leafs here, I went with John Tavares and William Nylander. I really like their prices considering the upside they offer, but if you really want to target their number one power play with Matthews, Marner, Ryan O'Reilly, and John Tavares for that matter, I have no problem with that. The only downfall I have stacking these two together is William Nylander does play down on the number two power play, but again, at $5,700, really hard to ignore them at that price. If we take a look here at the stats, the Maple Leafs have scored on the power play at a 22% rate so far in this series against the Florida Panthers. Not great numbers, but not horrible either. 
I do like how many power play chances they get though versus the Florida Panthers. You can see here the Panthers are definitely not afraid to take penalties, leading the playoffs with 47 through 11 games. But again, going back to the stats here, Matthews leads this team in expected goals, but Tavares and Nylander are right there at 5.3. You can see they've been getting on the score sheet at a decent rate too, 7 points and 9 points. Again, if you want to go with Matthews and Marner, I have no problem with that. Both those guys here have been able to put up solid points in these playoffs, but I just look at both these prices here with Tavares and Nylander and go, okay, those are pretty cheap considering the upside they offer. Now, moving over here to the defensemen, same strategy, stacking up the top four guys on their team's number one power play and stacking them up with forwards there. Shea Theodore of the Vegas Golden Knights can mix in with Eichel and Marcia so. Morgan Riley of the Toronto Maple Leafs can mix in any one of those forwards that I just talked about for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Evan Bouchard of the Edmonton Oilers, I mentioned earlier how good that power play is for Edmonton. Love him at that price of $5,200. And then Brandon Montour, there at the Florida Panthers. Love a little three-man stack with him, Matthew Kachuk, in Sam Bennett, but again, don't mind targeting their number one power play in general. And then I got a couple of goaltenders there. Again, sound like a broken record, but round two here, four goalies to choose from on a nightly basis. I'm truly not discounting any one of these guys. I do, however, lean towards this series between the Florida Panthers and the Toronto Maple Leafs with Joseph Wall and Sergei Bobrovsky. And the reason for that is in this series here against the Maple Leafs and Florida Panthers, they've scored nine goals through four games, whereas that series between the Oilers and Golden Knights has scored 27 goals in four games. Again, not discounting any one of these guys, but I do lean towards this game tonight between the Maple Leafs and Florida Panthers when it comes to choosing a goalie. And as always, going to wrap up the spreadsheet here with three low-priced options or sub-4K forward plays. First guy I got there is Riley Smith of the Vegas Golden Knights, who plays on the second or third line, depending on the website you're looking at. Plays on that number two power play as well. He's got just five assists so far through nine playoff games, but I believe there's going to be some positive regression coming his way. He's too good to not find the back of the net here sooner than later. This is a guy who plotted 26 goals during the regular season. Next is Anton Lundell of the Florida Panthers. Plays on the third line in number two power play. He's got one goal, six assists, seven points through 11 playoff games, and has shown a ceiling score of 21 DraftKings points throughout the playoffs. And then William Carlson also plays on that second, or again, third line, depending on the website you're looking at. Plays on that number two power play. Has four goals, two assists, six points through nine playoff games and is tied for third on the team in expected goals and makes for a nice little mini stack with him and Riley Smith on the same line and same power play together. And then to wrap up this video here, want to talk a little prize picks with you guys. A little hard pressed to give out some picks here as I record this morning as I'm going through these. Not really in love with anything available. So I'm going to do a little deeper dive here on these picks, do my research, and then let you know my final picks, if I find any, of course, in a comment below on this video, and I'll be sure to pin that comment. But don't forget, I post all my picks in my Discord channel too, on top of a bunch of people posting their picks. So if you want to join that, there's a link to do so in the description below. Now, for those of you who have not signed up for prize picks yet, but you want to get in on this action, I got a promo code that you should definitely take advantage of. When you're signing up, use my promo code GRIFF. G-R-I-F-F, -F, and Prize Picks is going to give you all the way up to a $100 match deposit. And you don't have to put 100 bucks in either. If you want to put in 50 or 20 hell, you want to put in 5 bucks. they will absolutely match that. Again, they'll match anything up to $100 as long as you use my promo code GRIFF. G-R-I-F-F -F, upon signing up. All right, everyone, that's going to wrap up this video here for today. As always, thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch the content here on this channel. If you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate that. Let's have ourselves a great day here, folks. Let's win some money on this two-game slate. In the meantime, I'm out of here.